the hell? <gasps> you're here? Oh my god, you're actually here. In my bed. Oh, how did... Oh no. Last night... <sighs> the party at my place... Oh, I remember now. We didn't even drink, did we? No, we were both sober. Oh, we kept getting refills of Shirley Temples all night. We were just talking, and then we were talking some more, and then... <sighs> I can't believe I fell for you last night. I must have been out of my mind of really tired from this week of school. <sighs> Why you? Of all people! <sighs> the one I've been bullying for... Oh, God, how long has it been? And now I'm here next to you after... <sighs> what happened. Uh, I hate myself for this. <sighs> Look, don't get any ideas. I don't have feelings for you, okay? Last night was just a moment of weakness. You you were there, and I... <sighs> no, 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 no. I don't have feelings for you. I can't. I won't. No, stop asking me. Jeez, I obviously don't have feelings for you, and even if I did, it's none of your business, alright? Just... Just drop it. What about the things I said last night? Forget about them. It was just weakness leaving my body. Did anyone see us? Did anyone see me go back to my room with you? Oh, God, my reputation. What if they find out? What will my goth friends think if I dated someone who wasn't like us? I can't let that happen. I can't let anyone know that I... <sighs> okay, think, think. What do I do now? How do I handle this? I could just say that you crashed here because you were too tired to go home. Oh, yeah, that could work. Oh, I could just say that you slept on the floor. Or maybe I could say that it wasn't you at all, but just someone that looked like you. But No, oh, wait. Hey, dork, here, help me brainstorm. Maybe we can think something together. Let me just get closer to you. This feels nice, actually. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to start cuddling you. <sighs> Screw it. Ugh. I can't lie anymore. I like you, okay? I do. Last night was amazing. And honestly, I don't care what people think. I'm sorry for everything. For bullying you at school, for being a total jerk. I just, I just wanted your attention. Didn't know how else to get it, and now I just, I just want you. I don't want to hide it anymore. I need you to know that this wasn't a spur of the moment thing for me. I, I've been feeling this way for a while, but I was too scared to admit it. I, I thought bullying you would push these feelings away, but it only made them stronger. Can we, can we just stay like this for a while? Just be together no more bullying no more games just us do you like that <laughs> good <laughs> let's cuddle again then it felt really good <laughs> i remember i saw you standing by the door last night looking so out of place in that crowd i mean a party isn't really your scene is it but you came anyway Eventually, we bumped into each other and started talking about everything. Music, art, life. I couldn't believe how much we have in common. And then, when I dare you to try on my spiked joker and you actually did it. <laughs> that was hilarious. You looked so ridiculous, but kind of cute, too. I, I also remember that moment at the beginning of the party where you were talking to Jessica and she was totally flirting with you and I felt this weird pang of jealousy I just couldn't stand the thought of you with anyone else that's when I knew I had to do something so I came up to y'all and eventually stole you away from her <laughs> do you remember how we first met at school I just transferred and you were the first person I noticed when I went to my class I got assigned to sit right behind you the perfect spot to bully you from <laughs> And I knew I couldn't pass up the opportunity to have some fun. You always looked so serious, always with your nose in a book. It was kind of adorable, really. 
Remember that one time I chewed up your homework in front of you and gave it back all ripped up? Or when the teacher asked what had happened, you said your dog ate it? <laughs> or do you remember when I switched your non-spicy candy with my super duper spicy candy and you didn't notice? Well, you didn't notice until you took your first bite and started wheezing for water. I know, I know, it wasn't very nice of me to do those things, but you have to admit they were kind of funny. Besides, you know, now that I just did it to get attention from you, in my own messed up way. You know, if I can be vulnerable here for a second, I, I never told anyone why you dress like this. The black clothes, the makeup, the spikes. It's actually a shield. A way to keep people at distance, I guess. I, I was scared of getting close. Scared of being hurt. And then there was you. This sweet, nerdy guy who didn't care about my walls. You just wanted to get to know me. <laughs> I owe you so many apologies. For every time I knocked your books out of your hand. For every insult. For every time I made you feel small. I was projecting my own securities onto you. I see that now and I'm so, so sorry. I wonder, wonder what it would be like if we were together. Like, officially. We would probably be that weird couple everyone talks about but secretly envies. They're going to wonder how the nerd and the goth queen ended up together. <laughs> It'll be the talk of the school. But honestly, I kind of like that idea. You know, you're probably the only person who could handle me. <laughs> well, most guys will run a mile, but you... <laughs> You're still here. Either you're brave or just really stubborn. <laughs> I guess you are the only one who's seen the real me. The girl behind all the black eyeliner and sarcasm and somehow you still like me. That's pretty amazing, you know? You're different from anyone I've ever met. You see through all my defenses and still find something worth sticking around for. That's... That's really special. I'm still scared, you know? Scared of getting hurt. Scared of losing you. But I'm willing to take that risk if it means I get to be with you. Even if it means facing the gossip and the looks from everyone else. So, what do you say? Will you... Will you be my boyfriend? I promise I'll make it up to you. I'll treat you right. I I just want to be with you. Please say yes. Oh my god. I'm so happy. <laughs> I can't believe you said yes. <laughs> That's just a preview of what's to come, dork. <laughs> we, we, we should plan our first date. Uh, how about that new coffee shop that opened up downtown? We could sit in the corner, drink fancy lattes, and just talk for hours. Or we could go to that art gallery you mentioned. I'd love to see the paintings you were talking about. You can tell me all about them, and I'll pretend to understand. <laughs> and then there's that concert next month. Your favorite band is playing, right? We should go together. I'll wear my best black lace, and you can rock one of your band t-shirts. We'll make quite a pair. Imagine us walking through the park, hand in hand. Or maybe even going on a little trip together someday. Ah, there's so much I want to do with you. And I promise, no more fake spiders or swapping candy. From now on, it's all about making you smile. And making you feel good. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to a future together. We can make this worth. I know I can. <laughs> Wait. What's that look on your face? It looks like you're about to... <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, hey, why'd you tickle me? I'm not saying I didn't like it, but it was kind of all of a sudden. <laughs> Caught me by surprise. Mmm, <laughs> you like seeing my laugh and you think my smile's adorable? <laughs> you're cute. But you should know something. I can tickle you back. <laughs> Oh, look at you squirm. <laughs> look at her face, it's so red. <laughs> no, 
know so tough anymore, huh? Hmm, aren't you ticklish? You're so ticklish. Even more ticklish than me. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll stop, I'll stop. But only because your face looks like you're about to explode. <laughs> hey, um, anyways, um, kind of curious about something. Oh, what am I curious about? Um, well... <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Spring SMR. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video and subscribe to not miss a single release. If you like exclusive content and if you like to support the channel, please join my Patreon. And if you'd like to join the Spring ASMR community, check out my Discord server. Links to both can be found in the description of this video. Time for a quick shout out to my Patreon super supporters. We got Zack Attack, Jay, Barry, Tommy, Shadelight, Jesse, Hey B Man. Dandy Mike, B349, 6, Lunar 7, Ronnie, Lucret, Brayden, Bread, Burning Phoenix 89, Cora, Janeski, Vigorous Pringle, Isaias, Bemusing, John John, Hamoud, TM, Bag, Walid, Icarus, and Kieran. And a huge thank you to our ultimate support tier members. Ghosty, Naturally Ellen, and Framer. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Take care. Love you. Mwah.